Welcome back on your Saturday morning. It is 647 right now and you are waking up to what's going to be a very good day to get outside. Still very hot, but at least we don't have to worry about too many thunder showers, which is pretty typical for the <laughs> summer. Uh, meteorologist Tyler Malden is in the Weather Center for us this morning. Hey, Tyler. Hey, good morning, Christy. Yeah, that's all so true. It's going to get hot later on today, but it's going to be a beautiful day and overall it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Right now we're starting off with temperatures in the 60s and 70s, not a single drop of rain on radar. Are, and that little blob right there, I think, may actually be some birds that we're picking up on radar. Actually, it's pretty cool. You can pick up on anything with the radar. Uh, today, we're going to call it an eight on the wisometer. No, uh, not much in the way of rainfall. Very few clouds, too. I think the majority of our cloud cover will be locked in across the uh, the northwestern corner of the state. Highs will get into the lower 90s, about 92 degrees. And once we get later on into the afternoon, uh, excuse me, as we go later on into the morning and on into the afternoon, we'll see those temperatures really start to rise. By 3 o'clock in the afternoon, we're looking at 90 to 93 degrees across metro Atlanta. You'll be locked in the upper 80s across the northwestern corner of the state, and that's because of that added cloud cover that you can see here on the for forecast track. Um, there's not a lot of cloud cover that's going to be around later on today. Just, you know, some fair weather cumulus clouds mainly up here across the northwestern corner, maybe some isolated showers up here too. Um, those will push from the south to the north, and they'll be locked up there. The majority of us will be seeing a really, really nice day. So just a 20% chance of rain for us today. I, again, highs getting into the, the low 90s. And then tomorrow, just as nice, the rain chance goes up slightly from 20% to 30%, but it's still a really nice day. We may see a few added thunderstorms during the heating of the day, but that's it. And speaking of showers and thunderstorms, this is uh, Isaias going over the Bahamas, and it's already swinging some outer bands into uh, portions of South Florida. Hurricane warnings are up for the Bahamas and also the east coast of Florida as this storm makes this trek to the east coast. 85 mile per hour winds at the moment is moving to the northwest and is going to get uncomfortably cl close to uh, portions of Florida. And uh, as it makes that trek to the north, it is going to give them hurricane force conditions. The hurricane uh, winds actually expand out 35 miles from the center. So even if it doesn't make a direct landfall in uh, south and central Florida, it's going to come close enough to give them those hurricane force conditions. And then once we get to early next week, right off the Carolina coastline, we're going to see it weaken into a tropical storm. When it's in this position, it can bring us some isolated showers come the beginning of next week, but we're not looking at any major threats from uh, this hurricane. Overall, we look pretty good for the next seven days. So an eight for today, a seven for tomorrow. Then as we get into next week, we'll hover around six, seven to eight each and every day. Out of the next seven days, today looks great. Monday looks like the worst day and Monday's not even terrible. Highs will get into um, the upper 80s near 90 degrees and there's a 40% chance for showers and thunderstorms on that day. But again, overall, the next seven days look really nice, Chrissy. All right, Tyler, thank you.